Medistand. Understanding Medicine. Professor Azizur Rahman from Medistand. And today we're going to start our videos on clinical methods. So I will be actually demonstrating the way I do it. There may be different ways of doing certain methods. So I will do the way I do it. And I think one thing very important is that patient's comfort and safety is very important. Of course, nobody can deny that. And physician's comfort and safety is also important. So you should adopt a method where you are comfortable and your patient is also comfortable. So before examination, you need to have the consent which I have already taken. This gentleman is here with consent. And uh, proper exposure, proper lighting is also important. So let's start with general physical examination. And I will actually be just demonstrating the method, the detail, the theoretical part I have already covered in different videos. So general physical examination is just like looking at something under low power microscope. I'm sure you're all familiar with this microscopy. So we will just have an overall scan of his body. And actually general physical examination starts the, the moment patient enters your room or approaches you or when you approach the patient. So I have just an idea how this patient looks like. He is not very ill. He is comfortable. He has no breathing issue and he has, is very, very comfortably sitting. So these are the general things which we notice even before we approach the patient. So let's then start with general physical examination. We may start examination of the hands. So I think both hands should be inspected. And the number of things, I think one basic rule of uh, examination is that you notice what is not normal. And for that, you need to know what is actually normal. And if you examine number of healthy people, number of patients, so you will know what is normal. So whatever is not normal, is need to be noted. So just see the overall hand size, the complexion, turn them around, see the nails, the complexion of nails, if there is any clubbing, if there is any sinusus, if there is any deformity of the joints, so nothing of that sort. Then examine the arms, look at the face. On face you can see several things, the overall faces, you know there are many conditions which you can diagnose just by looking at patient's face, like myxedema, like acromegaly. Of course, uh, you need formal examination also, but there are certain things which are very, very obvious. So on, on looking at faces, overall scalp is okay, forehead is okay, ears are okay, and there are no abnormal faces, eyes are okay, no protuberance, uh, no sunken eyes, no facial asymmetry. So everything seems to be okay. Then come down, and the, examine the neck area. On the neck area, I think one very, very important uh, organ is uh, our thyroid glands. Normally, thyroid gland should not be visible. Uh, it should certainly not be enlarged, but in some skinny people, it could be visible. So if you suspect that there is a thyroid problem, you ask the patient to swallow his saliva and then it will move upward. So there is no, because thyroid is not visible, so even on swallowing, I don't see anything. Then these areas, this neck veins, there is a formal examination of neck veins, which I'll demonstrate later. But here, I don't see any angoid neck veins. I don't see any pulsation. These supraclavicular fossae, they are not withdrawn. The sternocleidomastoid muscles are not very active. He's breathing comfortably and the all excessive muscles are also not active. Then come down. Can you take this vest off, please? In general physical examination, actually it is a combination of inspection and palpation. We use uh, both techniques. So I think we can see the front of the chest, absolutely normal. There is no chest deformity, no abnormal veins, no pulsation, no bulges. And his chest shape is okay. Can you turn? So from the back also, there is no problem at all. There is no asymmetry, no kyphosis, no scoliosis, no any abnormal veins, no swelling. Please turn around. So then we can see the abdominal area, right? Okay, then you can look at the feet, legs, not swollen. I don't see any problem. Of course, 
and the other things will be examined later. So, I do not see any, any abnormality, any swelling, then I will check it, feel it also. So, at the same time, maybe inspection, palpation together, or maybe inspection followed by palpation. Now, I will just check some of his lymph nodes, which is also part of uh, examination, general physical examination. I think it is best to wear a glove because you have to not touch patient's body. Uh, so, when you are examining axially or inguinal region, it is best to wear a glove. So, I am going to do that and I think it is also perhaps right to wear a mask when you approach the patient. When you examine the throat, you have to wear the mask also because these days we are very, very aware of communicable diseases, especially after COVID. So, I am putting the mask on. So, let me show the method of examination of neck veins. So, I will just touch it from here. This is posterior cervical chain. I do not see any problem here. Anterior cervical chain, no problem. On this side, again turn around. I do not see any lymph nodes here. No lymph nodes anywhere. And maybe then I can just see this jugular, di di jugular digestic area submandibular, submental on both sides. So, there are no lymph nodes at all. Then the axilla, I think this is the best way you can hold the arm like this. So, that this area is relaxed and with the right hand I am going to examine his axillae. Anterior fold, posterior fold, central part and the apex. So, there is no lift node here also I can do this, this side, this side, apex and the posterior side. No lift nodes, please cut it. So, I think then I throw in the chicken. Let me, let me just do it like this. I will do the inguinal area also. Any, any lift nodes here, I will make a note of this. So, please sit down. So, this is actually examination for lymph nodes. Uh, lymph nodes may be enlarged in many conditions, but you must remember one thing that many times very, very minor lymphadenopathy, especially in the cervical region, the submandibular region and inguinal region may be normal. So, you have to interpret this finding in the context of history. Then in general physical examination, you also look for edema. And let me show you how to do that. You press against this bone like this. You keep it pressed for several seconds. Several seconds normally there should be no pit formation. So, there is no edema at all and then you do on the other side. See, I have used my right thumb on this side and the left thumb on this side because I find it convenient that way. It was comfortable for me to do it like this. So, I believe this was general physical examination.